sure you're receiving a message from our company the end. You're receiving a message from our company side to to renew your services. Yes, that's right. There was a I had a notice saying that there was a a total of five hundred and seventy eight dollars made as an automatic yes, okay. automatic payment to renew a a Norton product. Okay. The, the or, do you need the order number? No, we don't need that. So could you just confirm me that? Do you want to cancel this order or do you want to leave as it is? Well, I never made the order, so I don't really know what I should do. So, so let me tell you, this is all the... You, when you sign up for the services, that time our company is not costing you a single penny, okay? So that's the reason. Uh, before uh, or renew your services, we are calling you as per the verification. So if you want to cancel it, we are simply going to help you right now, okay? Okay. So I certainly do want it. I, I don't quite understand how this could happen. I mean, I don't remember making oh, the order. Okay, and I, as, okay. as far as I Let's can tell, I went, I went back and was this charged to my credit card or was this a check or what was it? Okay. I, I'm sorry, it was what? From your checking account. Well, how would they have access to, how would anybody have access uh, to my checking check. account uh, except me? I don't understand. Uh, so no, you no, you have a can. copy of a check then? Let me tell you that. We can see, we can see in our server that so when, you, when you sign up for the services, our company is not going to cost you a single penny, okay? And they are just getting your information to auto in future for the automatic payment deduction or for the uh, and for the renewal services or any kind of problems. So we can simply contact you directly, okay? So can you just confirm, me, sir, that I do believe you're right now in front of a computer? Uh, yes, I am. Right. I was looking at my email, which is where I got the notification about the uh okay. i'm Can still i'm still me, very okay? i'm still very confused okay. about the how money could have been okay. taken out of my checking account if i didn't write it's a check debited. i don't i don't understand it's not, debited yet, sir. it's not debited yet okay once we hang up the calls after that the amount is going to debit it okay well wait a minute you say you say the money has not been debited yet sure we are not receiving the payment yet, okay? So you don't have to worry anything. So could you just go and minimize your, all the pages that whatever you're doing in your computer, okay? Okay, I'll, I, on it. I'll, I can do that, but I still don't understand. Yes, what you don't get. Hello? I'm here. Yes, yeah, so do one thing, sir. Now just look on the typing keyboard, okay? Just look on the typing keyboard. On the left hand side, bottom corner, can you see there's a control key, the CTRL key over there? Yep, I see it. Okay, just right beside the control key, sir, can you see there is a Windows key? No, right next to the control key, I have an FN key. After that? I have a uh, something with a circle around it. There is a four small boxes on the circle, right? Yeah. Okay. You have to press it down and hold it, okay? So just press the Windows key, okay? You have to press and hold it down the four squares key with your one finger and hold it down. Don't release it. With the help of another finger, press the letter R as in Roger. Okay, I can do that. Press the Windows key and the letter R together. Okay. Now, what comes up on your screen? Just let me know. Well, another box. I mean, it's asking me to tell you. I don't know what it is. It's a little box, a little rectangle. Uh, on the left-hand side, bottom corner, right? Correct. Yeah, so can you see there's an open panel? You can type it something? I, I, yes, I do see that, yep. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so you need to type it over here. W, W w dot okay t as in tiger 
Okay. Okay. Um, then A as an apple. Okay. M as a mother. Okay. Then V as a victor. Okay. I as an Indiana. Okay. Then E as an echo. Okay. W as in Washington. Okay. Then E as in Echo. Okay. Then R as in Roger. Okay. Then M, then you put it for the R, then put a dot like a period. A dot like a period. Mm. I, okay, I think you mean, I think you mean just put in a period. Sorry? I think you, in other words, just put in a period, right? Yes, after the R, you need to put a period over there, okay, like a dot. Okay, I don't understand the like a dot, but that's okay. I, I put in a period. Then C as a Charlie, O as an Oscar, then M as a mother, Okay. Okay. Can you just read back to me? Yeah, it says www.teamviewer.com. Yes, can you see OK, cancel and browse? Just hit on OK. OK. And after that, what comes up on the screen, just let me know. All right, it pulled up a website. It says Team Viewer, the solution for remote control and access, remote connectivity yes. software, cloud-based platform yes. with can intuitive see, features. There is a download for free option. Can you see there's a download for free? Right, and there's also another one that says discover plans. No, you have to click on the download for free, okay? You have to hit on download for free. Okay. And once you download, it's, once you hit on the download for free, what comes up on a screen just let me know okay well it pulled up a little uh, uh it says teamviewer.exe yes once you see the team viewer okay when see, where did you see the team viewer dot exe okay once the download is completed just open that okay what do you mean open it yes once you open that what comes up on a screen just let me know Okay. Okay, it, it pulled it pulled up a box with a whole bunch of numbers and uh says uh sign in, remote control, computers and contacts, chat. Oh, can you see here, allow remote control, there are some numbers like your ID, your password? Yep. Can you just read back to me the ID and the password, sir? 338-220-294-E4-N... Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, 338, then? 220. 220, right? Right. 294. E four N four W seven. Wait, wait, wait. This is the I right and what was the password, sir? Slow e down, okay? E as an echo. Four. The number four? Correct. N as a November? Correct. Then four. The number four? Correct. W. W as in Washington. Correct. Seven. Then, sir? The number seven. Correct. Then? That's it. E4N4W7, right? Yep. Wait for a 
a moment to verify this ID and the password, sir. Can you just read down, uh, write it down in a piece of a paper, sir? So uh, we are simply going to, we are simply going to send you a cancellation form from our site, so we can say fill up the form, and the money is going to not charge by our company side. Okay, so wait for a moment. So you, did you write down that? of a paper, the ID and the password, sir? Did you write it? No, I didn't write it down. What was, I, you didn't tell me to write it down. Okay, just write it down in a piece of a paper. Why do I have to write it down? It's right there in front of me. Say that again. Who? Now we can go and look into a computer, sir. You're receiving a cancellation form. Yep, I see one. Yes, you need to write, you need to fill up that form from your end, okay? I need to, I need to what? You need to fill out this form, okay, from your side. Okay, I can do that. <coughs> Once you're done, just let me know. So what's this refund code here? Hello? Yes, hello? So what do I put in under the cancellation and refund oh. code? It's one, two, nine, six. Okay. Five, five. Okay. Now, just write this down, the refund amount that you can see the amount is going to cost. Okay. What was the amount, sir? Uh, 5.99 something or other. Okay. Now, what you can see on your screen, just let me know. It says, uh, thank you for submitting the form to cancellation and refund department. We have sent you a verification link to your bank. In order to receive the funds, go ahead and, and log into your bank and check your statement. How do, how do you do that if you don't know what the bank is? Uh, no, we are just sending you. So as per the refund, sir, we are going to, as per our company side, you're going to be receiving that your money back, okay? So just go ahead and log into your computer, okay? Can, and just check can you, you can you tell me what I I need to know what since you got the uh, you said that the payment was made uh, t from my checking account could could you please tell yeah. me which which checking account it was used so I that I can no, so that I can check no, 
Stop talking over the top of me. Stop talking. Listen to what I'm asking you. I'm asking you, since you said that the check, the money was taken out of my checking account, could you please tell me which checking account oh, yeah. it was taken out of so that I can go check that account? Let me tell you, sir, that we are not able to disclose any kind of your personal information, okay, like your debit card number, your credit card number, your checking account, because all the costs are getting recorded here for the training and the quality purpose, okay? Okay, that's fine, I'm but that, that doesn't... When you fill up the form, sir, when you fill up the form, I do believe you're receiving the option to type your name of your bank, right? Well, that was the problem. I didn't know which bank to put in. Okay, sir. Whatever bank names you put over there, the money is going directly deposited to that bank, okay? You so said just go ahead and log into your computer, okay, to receiving that funds and check it that either you receive it or not. Okay? Okay. Yes, once you're done, just let me know, sir. Okay, I will do that. Hang on. It'll take me a little bit. I have to get my tablet out. No, you, you just do it from your computer, sir. Oh, uh, I can't do it. Okay? Well, that's why I asked you which bank, because the particular that bank... That put you into the form. That you put into your form, sir. If you, would, if you would stop talking over me for a minute, I would explain the problem. But you're so eager to talk and not listen to what I'm saying, you don't know what's going on. So just shut up for a minute, yeah. and I will tell you what the problem is. Okay, the, the thing is, you didn't tell me which bank to use. So I put down the bank that I normally use for my online transactions. That bank requires us to use a tablet to access the information. Now, if you had told me to use my other bank to send it to the other bank, then I could have logged in from my computer. But since you didn't tell me which bank it was, and you wouldn't tell me, I have to log into the bank I put down using my tablet. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to log into my bank using my tablet, which is the only way I can do it, so that I can access that account and find out whether I got the refund to that account. Got it? Oh, okay, you're done, sir. And let me know, okay? Okay, I've logged into my other bank. And I do believe, sir, you logged in that account, okay, on your tablet that you put in the form, right? It's Correct. Apple Commercial, yes, okay. Correct. Okay. And there's, there's no refund showing. Uh, because the reason, sir, you're not receiving that money, because, sir, you are logging the bank account into the other device because your IP address is connecting to our main server. So you have to do one thing. You just log out the bank from your tablet and you log into your computer. Okay? Say, that, it, check it. say that again. I didn't understand that. Okay. Because the reason behind that you don't receiving your refund yet, just because your bank is logging into your another device like your tablet. And in and in our side, sir, we are simply going to send that money from verifying your IP address from your computer, okay? So you have to just log out the bank account from the tablet, and you need to log in into your computer, okay? So tell me what IP address I should be using, and I, I will fix that. No, we are not be able to tell you any kind of your personal information because it's totally my accounting team is going to do okay well that's not that's not private information i mean that's pretty public no no sorry. anybody can it's find that out that's privacy. no that's no big no, deal no, no. Sir, it's, what it's i could do if what i could do is to log into my other bank and then you could try issuing another refund okay. and you want to do that okay you try another bank to log in into that if it is possible to send you the money you know that account could try our best, okay? So you just go ahead and log into your data account. Okay, I did that. Okay? I did that. You did that? I did. 
Okay, wait for a moment, okay? Wait, sir. Just look, you're receiving that money or not, okay? No, I'm not. Hello. Hello. Uh, yes, madam. This is Mark Hughes, one of the account managers here. How are you today? How did you get madam out of George? Oh, sorry. I really apologize because I was talking to another customer. I was dealing with her and I have just completed with her and I just took your call. I really apologize. So now you tell me, we are going to refund you the $300, like your refund amount is $300, right? No, that's, oh. no it, was, it was $599. Okay, so it's a round figure amount of $600, right? Well, you know, Will looking, you? going back and looking at the refund statement, I think I made a mistake. And I put in $5,999. I have an extra nine instead. Are you sure about it? Yeah, I just looked at the form. Okay. That's not an issue, sir. We will just look out for it, okay? So now... So you're gonna you're gonna refund you're gonna refund me five thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars? No no no, that's not the amount which we are going to refund you. You first of all tell me what exactly you can see on the screen, sir. Well, the the form says when I clicked on it, the form says I can look at it again. The form says okay. thank you. We have sent you a verification link to your bank. So I, what I'm supposed to look okay. for is a verification link, right? Hold on, sir. I'll just check it out, okay? I'll just look out for you. What do you mean you take it out? Uh, something happened with my... My, uh... There. Are you touching your computer, sir? Well, yeah. I'm looking at the form. I want to see what the form says in my bank. It's the only way I could look at my huh? bank account. Okay. So, the, so you do one thing, sir. So the forms... The, the form, the, we have to... Look, leave about the form, okay? I'll be handling the things here. Okay, I'll connect you to the live bank server. So while I'm going to connect you to the live bank server, for a while maybe you can see a black screen as I'm going to put my company's information. So now tell me what you can see on the screen, sir. Okay. What you can see on the screen, tell me. Uh, the screen just uh, went blank, which I, I should shut off my, com I should shut off my computer, right? No, no, no. You don't need to shut down your computer, okay? You tell me. You just log in into your account. Put your ID password once again. Put your username and the password. Once you're done, you just to let me know. Do it again? I was already logged in. Why would I have to do it again? It has been logged out, sir. Now, where is this verification link supposed to show up? Yeah, but it's not right. It's all messed up. I don't know what you did, but something's all wrong. Let me try logging in again. Okay, that's better. I refreshed the screen and now it's the way it should be. I don't know what happened.
bank account, sir? What's the available balance you have? Tell me. Five thousand five hundred ten dollars and seventy nine cents. Five thousand five hundred and ten dollars, right? And seventy nine cents. Is that your bank's name, sir? Next Gen Personal Finance Bank. Correct. And except this bank account, do you have any another bank account? Well, yeah, the one I told the other guy, but we already established I can't use that one. I'm looking for the verification link, and I, according to the form, see the form says uh, we have sent you a verification link to your bank in order to receive the funds. So Go where do where do I where do I find Go this? Go where, to your bank. Where do I find this verification link? So you go to your bank, okay? Go to your bank once again. I'm at my bank. So would it be under notifications? I don't see anything under notifications. Now you leave your computer for a while, okay? Tell me what you can see on the screen. Well, I see my, it says notification account activity, make a transfer, pay a bill, deposit check. I mean, I see the same thing you see. I'm assuming that be, because of what you see your, your, the refund form or says, we have sent you a verification link into your bank. Now, where do I find that verification link? Obviously, obviously, the deposit is not going to be made until I un, until I click on that link, right? Hello. Hello. You know what? I'm not a fool, you motherfucker. You're just wasting my time. I know. All right. Bye bye. Don't call here anymore. <laughs> I love that reaction. Thank you so much. Well, let's see. He's still connected, so let's see what we're going to do. What he's going to do, and he probably won't. He's probably given up knowing they can't do anything. Well, anyway, another satisfying half an hour messing with these guys. That was fun.